In this video, I will be showing you how to run a Python script using AWS Amazon services. So I go to aws.amazon.com and sign into the console. I know there are a lot of services in AWS and the one I use to run a Python script is EC2. Here is EC2. So I click on EC2 and this is kind of a page you see. If you are using it for the first time, probably you are not seeing any running instances. So the first thing I, I do is create an instance. So I click on launch instance. And now there are a lot of systems in it. And how do I know which one to select? So because I'm using, I'm, my purpose is to use Python. I select a system which has Python in it. So Amazon Linux has Python in it. So I select this and click on review and launch. Here there's a warning here. So your security group launch wizard tree is open to the world. So what's the deal with this? So you go to configure security property out here and here you can see the source is anywhere. So if you want it to be private, you can either select custom IP or my IP. But for now, I leave, I leave it to anywhere and go ahead and review and launch and then click on launch. And now I need to select a key user pair. So I have three options here. Proceed without a key pair. Create a new key pair or choose an existing key pair. So I go ahead and create a new key pair. And I'll give a name say random. This is some name and I downloaded a key pair and go ahead and click on launch instance. So the random.pem file got downloaded to my desktop. And now your statuses are now, your instances are now launching. And to click the status of the instance, I click on this. So the instance state is pending. So this is the instance ID, it's unique. And this is the DNS. And this is the public IP of the instance. And this is unique for the instance. And the key name is random, the key pair I just created. I'll just refresh the page. It's running. So I select this, it's marked as blue if I select it and go ahead and click connect. So I have two, op two options to connect to your uh, connect to the instance. Either I can use a standalone SSH client or I can use a Java client directly from my browser. For now I'll use standalone SSH client. So I go to the terminal in my desktop. And now, the first thing I need to do is I need to change the permission of the key I downloaded to private. It cannot be a public key. So I change mod. So the problem is my Key got download, uh, downloaded in the downloads folder. So I'm giving the whole path for it. Once I change the permission, I should I should connect to the server using SSH. So the command would be, it's directly written here. So I copy this, I paste it. So there's some problem with this. So what's the problem? The problem is I did not give the whole path to the key pair I downloaded. So I go ahead and give the whole path to it. Slash. And now I could connect it finally. So 
to update all the in, all the programs i this is what i run sudo yum update so sudo is basically super user do if you are not logged in as root that is what you use to do anything in the linux com system so as i can see there are a lot of stuff that's getting updated and it's complete now if i want to launch python just click on python just type python i'm sorry and now the python console is open i just go ahead and three two plus three or say print hi that's it thank you for watching